Dreamworld is the massive creative open world sandbox where millions of people can play, adventure, and create together. We want to create the world with the most freedom possible. If you see a tree and you want to cut it down, go cut it down. If you see dirt that needs digging, go dig that dirt. If you see a mountain that needs leveling, take that pickaxe and go level that mountain. And one of the times we were talking, I, I said, you know, hey, why don't we just make the game we've always wanted to play? Why you always lying? Oh my god. Stop fucking lying. So the Dreamworld Alpha is live, I guess. You guys remember Dreamworld, the the last game you'll ever play? Two Silicon Valley dropouts went to Kickstarter with the idea of making an MMO with every single genre game mode and anything that encompasses gaming, all within one shared world with millions of players. <laughs> Dreamers. Allowing terramorphing and unlimited exploration. The lead dev having just called off an engagement with his fiance, pulled at gamers' heartstrings to get them into this absolutely enormous undertaking. The biggest problem was, these two guys making this game they aren't even real developers. I made a video on it a month ago and decided to back the Kickstarter in hopes of being able to test this alpha that was slated to release in May. Since then, the ex-fiance has come out in a video explaining her side of the story and multiple people having been banned from their Discord, myself included, and a mass exodus of supporters, <coughs> dreamers, had their hopes dashed out when the alpha was finally released. I myself can't even play the game, as the only way to gain access seemingly is to suck off these two dickheads in their Discord for the files. I was sent a copy of the game, but it seems the developers, I use that term loosely, got smart and added a token system to the game that has locked me out completely. The Kickstarter alpha I was promised, in a surprise that I think everybody could have guessed, is being held ransom by a dev team that have no idea what kind of shitstorm they entered when they went to Kickstarter. Luckily, though, I have 11 minutes of footage of the last game I'll ever play, even though I can't even play it. If you guys like the video, leave a like and subscribe for more. And also, report the fuck out of this Kickstarter and anything related to Dreamworld and these two guys moving forward. Zachary Kaplan, known for his revolutionary speaker on a chest idea, doesn't deserve to have any sort of success in this industry after scamming hard-earned money from gamers using a sob story to do it. Nevertheless, let's jump over to Dreamworld's first public showing of alpha footage. Keep in mind, this is an alpha, and it is subject to change if the developers even know how to. What we have here is a flat white plane with some marketplace assets laid out as the game's main central hub city. Keep an eye on the draw distance here, it's fucking atrocious. The plaques we saw in the Kickstarter trailer are nowhere to be found, with a plaques in progress sign hanging from the blue marble wall. When you look up, you can see that all of the marketplace assets are scaled and stretched to all fuck, so you can really see the low res textures at work here. Seriously, why the fuck are these books so big? The game features a couple of teleporters that take you to the coveted Candyland biome, when in reality, it's just a bunch of candy cane assets sprinkled upon a white hill. I mean, seriously, this looks worse than the Kickstarter trailer, and I don't even know how that's humanly possible. There are moments where it looks like a PowerPoint presentation, with the speaker falling asleep at the remote to change slides, but we get a glimpse at the terrain morphing with the pickaxe. As you can see, you can actually change the map terrain by hitting it. I've also heard reports from other YouTubers who actually decided to follow this train wreck that this groundbreaking MMO doesn't even feature text chat because the developers can't get player-to-player -player text working. I saw a video this morning of a YouTuber spamming peppers in the world, creating thousands and thousands of assets, which means every time a player would get close to that location, it has to load so much information, presumably bogging down the system entirely. But no need to worry, because nobody's going to be playing this game anytime soon, if at all. We go back to the city to find the rest of the buildings are literally white UE4 cubes, presumably placeholder for whatever marketplace assets are on sale this week, all running at a solid 5 FPS. This. This is what all those Kickstarter backers, <coughs> dreamers, 
decided to place their money in. There's also about two minutes worth of footage of Callum just running around what looks to be a frozen flat wasteland with one major island that looks like the Kickstarter trailer area. This world isn't procedural like the Kickstarter said, there's literally nothing here, but trees raised up on a grassy area surrounded by ice. This is the biggest pile of shit I think this channel has ever covered. It takes a lot to surprise me at this point, but the fact that this runs this badly with nothing on screen blows my fucking mind. Big shout out to Callum for sending me this footage. I'll have his channel linked down below. He's been following this game very closely and deserves a lot of recognition for the information that he's been putting out. So go check him out as well. This isn't an MMO. This isn't an alpha. This isn't even a proof of concept. It's a straight up scam. They took over 60k from backers and trust me, those people aren't blameless in this either. If you truly saw that Kickstarter trailer and thought, damn, this is the game I've been waiting for, you're as delusional as the developer from yesterday's video. I backed the game when it already reached their goal. This game was being funded and I wanted along for the ride. But the way they've locked down their Discord and mass banned hundreds of people, myself being banned because another user went so far as, get this, they mentioned my name in the Discord, presumably due to my video calling it a scam, but that's just the way these people operate. Instead of wanting to prove the naysayers wrong, the exodus happens, the echo chamber is created, and the scam continues with whoever is left believing two dorks from California can make a game more ambitious than Star Citizen, more ambitious than Open Mod, and more ambitious than anything I've seen in my entire life. If you are truly disappointed in how Dreamworld ended up, don't blame Kickstarter. Don't blame the developers. Blame yourself for funding this. Take responsibility for your actions and your wallet, and maybe, just maybe, this shit won't happen anymore. My name is Big Fry, and I'll see you on the next one. Every time you tell me something, I figure that you're lying.